Uh, yeah. So, uh, so there you are. You're bouncing. Uh, are you a wrestling fan? Um, we. I mean, that's I. I like. I, we, so, uh, Hulk when he came to Joe Lewis, that was a Hogan mark. Any of the boys end up in BTS? No. Nah. Hmm. David Brenner one night. That motherfucker, man. He had to, he had a nose, and boy, he could fucking pack that bitch. I tell you that. Oh, with with substance, yeah. Oof. Did he tell you, you had great comedic timing? Matter oh, that was later. I, matter of fact, I think he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, um, you you, this is not a skanky club. This is one of the no, the, just, the nicer yeah, ones. It's just tux. So you, where did tux? Okay. Now, how do you get to Atlanta? I'm going to cover all your jobs before wrestling. Let's lot, cover lot, it all. I, I, I'll just give you the short version. A couple of guys come in that we call the, 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 the Baptist Mafia. They offer me a job to come down to Atlanta to just kind of be muscle. I take the job. Muscle uh, for what? A gambling operation? Uh, bookmaking, uh, maybe? Racketeering. Okay. Good so, um, much to the chagrin of me... Um, when our office gets hit by the FBI, they actually do have the blue fucking blazers with the yellow FBI on it. And the flashbangs go off, and I look up, and there's a black dude with a fucking sh shotgun pointed right at my head. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck. And I got an unregistered in my front, in my top desk drawer, I got an unregistered fucking 911 45 caliber pistol and three clips. And like a fucking big bag of fucking like roids. I'm like, this is Atlanta. Uh, yeah. So, um, how long before you're working for these guys does this happen? Maybe. F so I get to Atlanta <laughs> and I'm working at this place called the Muscle Factory on Johnson Ferry Road. That's where I'm working out at. I'm like the new guy in town. Everybody knows this big fucking guy's from Detroit. So, and there's a lot of, like, drug wars going on with different dealers and shit. That's like the cocaine fucking wars in Atlanta. And everybody's trying to, like, recruit me to, to be, you know, one of, their, one of their boys. I mean, there's fucking murders that go down and all kind of shit. I mean, it was, like, fucking, it was crazy. It was like a, a soap opera. Even one of the guys was Kevin Pappas. I think he ended up writing a book, and I think he almost got, uh, like, it almost got, uh, Picked up for a fucking film. Pappas was one of the fucking big dealers. Greek? What, were the Greeks running things down there? Pappas. Yeah. Yeah. It's Greek. Yeah. Greek drug dealer. All right. Go ahead. And then, like, the so I, I ended up getting arrested. And, uh, you know, like any, anything in life, you just, if you keep your mouth shut, everybody will roll. And I fucking, you know, I, I walked out of uh, out of jail um, uh, 93 days later, and uh, there was a guy named Peter Both that had uh, been involved in giving me a summons one other time to court during this ordeal. And he was, they, they basically, a guy came in there, a guy came in uh, whose name was Doyle Alexander, and he, uh, basically set this up and he um I, I walked out and uh peter both was there and he they he, they said they had a job at the cheetah for me so i walked in uh i said, I said is jeff here he said that he's up, up, up by the stage i walked in saw that guy named jeff talked to arthur they said when can you start and i said well when do you need me they said, how about tomorrow? I went and fucking got a tuxedo, brought it back to the house mother, had her fucking size it and hem it up for me, went to Ugly Duckling and got a fucking rental car and uh, went through a, a, my Rolodex, because you had one back then, right? and uh, found somebody that I could uh, shack up with until I got on my feet. You do 93 days in jail? Yeah. And they give you the job when you come out because you kept your mouth shut. So it was like they were they no, were taking I just, care of I, you. No, I just because I wasn't a fucking asshole. 